But starting us off tonight, we've learned more about a deadly plane crash in Venice and what investigators think happened. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay. Thank you for joining us. I'm Courtney Robinson. And I'm Josh Sidorowicz. This is the second plane crash off the coast of Venice here this year already. This one happened close to the Venice fishing pier on the southern end of Sarasota County. Four people were killed in this crash. Now, earlier today, the FAA confirmed there were only two people on board, but just hours ago, Venice police told us there were four and all four have been identified. 10 Tampa Bay's Adoria Chumba live for us in Venice. Adoria, where do things stand now in this investigation? Gut wrenching. That's the way one airport official described this situation. And right now, if you look behind me, we can see crews are pulling the wreckage of the plane. Uh, they're taking it to Heigl Park where it will be lifted with a crane out of the water. It's the second crash in this area within five months involving a plane flying out of the Venice airport. And also in this same in this case as well, the families went to dinner but did not make it back home. This was the scene this morning as search and rescue teams fanned the debris field west of the Venice Pier. They found the main part of the Piper PA-32R single-engine plane with two women inside. Last night, the bodies of two men were found after witnesses saw the plane go down. 911, what's the location of the emergency? I'm at the pier at Sharkey's, and a plane just took off and crashed in the water. And did you see any um, flames or anything? No, he, his engine, I'm a pilot, his engine sounded normal and uh, he was just losing a lot of altitude. He crashed pretty hard. On board, a 64-year-old pilot, William Jeffrey Lumpkin, his wife, Patricia Lumpkin, who was 68, both of Fisher, Indiana, and their friends, 60-year-old Ricky Joe Beaver and his wife, Elizabeth Beaver, 57, of Noblesville, Indiana. Airport officials tell us flying conditions were fine. After I got in from the pier last night, we did a runway sweep to make sure that the airport itself was, there were no issues on the airport, which there were not. Runway 23 was clear, all the lights were working, our facility was, was intact. Just months ago in December, three members of the Kath family from St. Petersburg died after their plane crashed. Today, the body of newly licensed pilot 42-year-old Christian Kath is still missing. Several local pilots have raised concerns about flying out of the Venice airport at night. That's the pilot's choice to make to take off at night towards the Gulf. That's up to them. If they think they can handle it, they do it. I mean, it's really too early to make any conclusions because we have to see what happened. You know, what was the cause of this crash? It could be two completely unrelated causes and it just happened to be that close together. Um, we just don't know yet. And Venice police is leading this initial stage of the investigation, after which they will hand over to the FAA and the NTSB. They will now move the wreckage of the plane to their center in Jacksonville and look into what caused the crash. Live in Venice, Aduria Chumba, 10 Tampa Bay.